Hi, this is Garth Holman, and this is uh, changing to a remote learning class looking at Google Sites. On this one, we're going to focus on adding pages and a few other pieces you can do. So once you've started, um, the first page you come to is always referred to as your home page. We put a few basic things on here. Again, you can think about how you would design yours. You might only want one or two pages. But let's suppose we want another page. We click the page icon over here. We never change the name home. That's the first page you go to. And we're going to add a new page. We title it first. And I'm going to call it resources. Now, again, you would think about how you're going to build what you want. But maybe you want a home page with just assignments listed, what they're doing, and a resource page of information that they might need. Once you built the page, you just go back to insert. And so, um, you know, I might want to put in, if you look, I might want some YouTube videos in here. So I'm going to click YouTube. And it gives me a box immediately to do a shirt, uh, search. So I can do remote learning. And it pops up with, let's say, some YouTubes, hopefully. So uh, there's using Seesaw, Khan Academy, or, you know, whatever. How remote learning. Let's just pick this one. Again, I didn't watch it. Um, I'm thinking about you doing a variety of skills maybe um, you would, but you just embed. It's now there, ready to roll. Another resource you might want to include, um, it's usually a pretty easy resource to do um, if you're building things. I guess really actually those are the, that's the key one. If you can embed all of these are basically you can you can play with to see, but like a calendar will let you actually embed your calendar. So I can embed my teachers for tomorrow.net calendar, and that calendar will appear for other people um, to see. You can adjust that size, and you can look at it in a variety of ways. Um, but if you had homework due and you wanted kids to see it, you could have a Google Calendar that will let you do that. It is pretty simple to build that. Um, we could do another YouTube, or, but you get the idea. The more you play with this, the more you'll see it. We'll do some of the, in the next tutorial, some of the more difficult ones. That tour will take a little bit longer. But most of these are pretty uh, simple. Uh, button, just because you'll be like wondering what button is. Um, a button lets you do a link. So I can say to Mr. H's classroom. And then I can put a link in. Since I'm not going there, I know my student, my classroom is students for tomorrow.net. I would need www. Whoops. I might even need the HTTP in there. We'll see. But it'll just build the link. That's just a button so you can visually see where you want them to go. Um, so that's kind of the other option. Um, not a lot you can do with it. You can change some colors. We don't need to get into that. But you kind of see you can make some some different things. There's how to add pages, embed YouTubes, and embed your calendar.